but in the roles of a different husband and wife. That's right. Uh, yes, they join us now from our Dublin studio. They're going to bring their double act to the Borgash Theatre in a production of The Perfect Murder by the best-selling crime writer Peter James. Hello. Good to see you guys. Hello, Hello. 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 you guys. How are you? It's funny to see you just there together as just two normal people because we're big fans here of EastEnders and you're synonymous, I would consider, over more than a decade of, 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 with EastEnders. Thank you. Well, what's been uh, the first time Cat and Alfie on screen together was 14 years ago. Um, so we've been together now the best part of 14 years and it's driving me mental. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't mean that. No. You're used to her by now. So then the transition of the two of you together on stage for the first time. I mean, how did that come about? Um, well, we was, was approached last year because um, we knew we were going to have a break from EastEnders, albeit we didn't know how long the break was going to be. And we've got the same uh, management team, you see. And uh, we was approached about this play. Uh, called The Perfect Murder, and I was familiar with it because, of course, Peter James, the, the multi-millionaire writer and author. Multi-millionaire. And I read the script, and I saw the play, and I, and I remember sitting down, and because of myself and Jesse, we spent a lot of time together, not just on screen at EastEnders, but obviously off screen at, at work and at Walford. And I, I remember calling in the dressing room and saying, Jesse, have a read of this, what do you think? And we both we, we thought about it for a long time because you know there's one thing Cat and Alfie on screen together, but to work off screen and, and in a theatre playing two different characters, we weren't sure about it. So we sat down with the producers and the director, and we said we'd be we'd really like to do it if we can make the characters as far removed from Cat and Alfie as possible, and they really are. And you know, uh, hopefully people you know well, Shane, will, will Shane, see this week. Th th that said, and Jesse, you said that we all know that Cat always has a huge go at Alfie. I believe this is you having a far worse go at Shane in this role. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so you, you guys, you guys on screen. I suppose Cat is always kind of, uh, I suppose, She's domineering, isn't yeah. she? She's always. Well, kind yeah, of well, this. This, this is completely different. I mean, the, our fear was um, because working together in a play, um, you know, completely uh, separate from Cat and Alfie, our fear was that as soon as we walk on stage, people are just going to see Cat and Alfie. Mm. Um, but luckily, the, the reviews that we've had so far is the first thing they say is you forget about them straight away mm. because at the end of the day, we are actors. Though. That's but, amazing um, that you can do that in, because that's a challenge yeah, in itself, but, though. In, in uh, EastEnders, when, when they're always battling yeah. this this is com something completely on the other scale this is they're trying to kill each other basically literally well what you say there shane earlier on is you've taken it to the next level now certainly of all the 14 years together on eastenders you can avenge your anger together on stage in this one <laughs> and shane, shane, i believe there's is there supposed to be some kind of irish spin-off with eastenders coming up yeah, what's interesting, it's only just been announced now, uh, and those that will watch EastEnders will know there's a storyline that's just been recently played out after Christmas where Kat finds out uh, when she was 13, 14 years of age she gave birth to twins, and not, not known they were twins at the time. And the story uh, will pick up, uh, which we start filming in the first week of April. We're going to be spending a lot of time in Ireland uh, for four months. And the work in Tile at the moment, I think it's called Redwater, uh, which is a fictitious, the BBC have made up this yeah. fictitious town. And it tells a story of um, Cat and Alfie arrive in this small uh, little fishing village where uh, over 30 years they've kept this dark secret. And I've read the first episode and I can honestly say it's probably one of the most scariest things I've read. And, and it really has nothing to do with EastEnders other than uh, Cat and Alfie from Walford are in this particular drama, but it's a bit like the Wicker Man meets Broadchurch. Wow. I mean, it's very dark. <laughs> it is, it's very dark and sinister, but it has the charm that Cat and Alfie had uh, in EastEnders. So it's very different, and it's all an Irish crew, and I know as we speak, they're casting actors uh, to play alongside myself and Jesse. So we are so excited about it. So excited, I it's can't wait. It's going to be like a second home for us. Yeah, yeah I'm going to sit up home in Ireland. Time. But you both have spent, I mean, I know your family are directly, Shane, and I know, Jesse, you've got Irish connections as well. So you've both, you've spent enough time in Ireland to understand, I suppose, the difference between Ireland and England in the sense of, you know, the communities and that type of thing there, because that's very important when you come to act in a different place, because you won't be bringing the whole of East Enders or Albert Square with you. You're just going to have to, uh, I suppose, integrate, uh, even though we know your characters, you'll have to integrate into the communities here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. And also the, the show, this particular drama, is about a community. 
a very close knit community in uh, on the coast of uh, Ireland, and it's and and where can Alfie fit into that community? That you know, uh, well, there's no there's no cutting corners about trying to make this community be like another Albert Square, yeah. for want of a better word. No, this is a a proper Irish community that are very close. Because you know, I grew up in a in London in an Irish community, so I know how close uh, they can be. And this is Cat and Alfie just being dropped in to great. this story. Do you know where you're filming out. yet? I'm, I know everyone's going to go mad now trying to find out where you're filming. Well, this is interesting. Oh, we're here all Waterford. The... No, we don't know that. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's starting a rumour, Jesse. People are going to go mad. We keep hearing this other Cork, Waterford, we've heard Limerick, we've heard Dublin, we've oh. heard... Now, we know this week uh, some of the BBC bonds bosses are coming over and taking us to where we're going to be filming to Waterford so we're in Dublin this week okay. is, it, is that where no, it is? no I don't know we don't know it's, it, it's changing all the time changing I was hoping time. it was caught because they, they said it was going to be caught so I'm staring at this thing I haven't down this screen it's hypnotising me um, <laughs> they mentioned caught and I was hoping it was going to be caught because my granddad was from Cork and I wanted to go and, and find where he lives and all that stuff and you could hang with us whether you yeah. want to or not so, we don't know where it's going to be right. they, they mentioned someone different they, they, they're still looking aren't they I think they're still looking at the moment but we will know this week so yes. if anyone wants to give us loads of cash There's no we problem. will happily take we'll, a coach we'll, load we'll, with we'll us we'll start on that now back to the perfect model are you on stage tonight Jesse are you yeah we are cool so what time are you on stage 7.30 7.30 you're only down the road and I think there's a few tickets left, not many, because we know it's selling out. It's a big theatre, and it's a beautiful theatre, an absolutely beautiful. We're just how, long you, how long are you running for? I can see the pictures. Yes, I'm just saying, God, you're so different. You'd never even know it was you two. I just love it. It's I know. Just, even it looks because great. Because that, that, that was another fear of mine, because I've yeah. got um, such a distinctive hairstyle as cat, yes, short, you do. black, and, yeah. you know, that, that's, this is my hair. I just thought that... Um, if I was on stage like this, that's all people would see was cat. So I went for the blonde wig. Totally good idea. Totally and a beard. Idea. So how long, <laughs> it, how, how long has it run for? <laughs> we are. We got this week in Dublin. We got this week in Dublin, and we finished film. We finished the show in about six, seven weeks' time. The tour, and then we're back to Ireland for four months. Then you're, you're back in Waterford. And we don't know that's where great. in Ireland. Yes. Oh, you're back in Waterford. Oh, you're back in Waterford. We want to come live in the studio. Is that <laughs> right? we, we'll drag you in, kicking and screaming. It's great. Less than a million for oh, so, us. I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, girl. Well, that means a soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have Gala. <laughs> Good luck. I have another cat here. Okay, take care. Bye. Take care, guys. God bless. Thank you very much, guys. Now, uh, as Shane they're said, they're doing great for him. Mm -hmm. Shane said there, there are only a few tickets That's left. Right, we have yeah. two to give away if you want to see the perfect murder at Borgoth Theatre for the next That's couple right. of days of Ireland. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. we're going to put that onto our Facebook page as well, RT Today, mm -hmm. for all the details there.